hey what's going on everyone so we're back again and uh, this video is going to go over how I sampled this Junior Lewis track for this specific production I'll take you to the step-by-step -step process that I went through and again in every video I mentioned that art is very subjective and uh, everyone's gonna have a different interpretation on how they should approach a sample uh, or a music production or uh, whatever they're working on so this is the step-by-step -step process that I take and I hope that this teaches you uh, a little more into the world of sampling now sampling is a it's a, it's a wide subject and it's a lot of different uh, topics that we can cover within sampling itself so let's just get right into it alright so let me just open up the original song uh, that I sampled from so you can take a listen to it. Giving up is hard to do when you really so right off the bat, I know that those that whole first portion of the song is what I want to sample. So I took that intro and um, also Junior's vocals and this is what I came up with. I thought that was a pretty dope outcome of what I've gotten to so far. And you know what? The best thing about Studio One is how easy it is to work with transients, to work with samples, you know, to chop them up, to time stretch each different uh, section or each different transient of the waveform and to get it to line up uh, and snap into a rhythm. So let's hear Junior's original track. Taking the tempo of the sample is as easy as just playing the sample in the background and tapping on this uh, tempo uh, portion right here of Studio One. I knew that that original sample was somewhere around 170. Um, so now that I have the approximate tempo of the sample, I want to go ahead and get rid of that first note uh, right over here. So you can either press 3, which is a keyboard shortcut, or you can go up to the split tool, click that, and that helps you cut into the waveform. So what we want to do is cut off that first note and bring this back. So what we have now is... And uh, we can play the metronome just to uh, reference everything and make sure it's on beat. So either you can press C or you can click this little um, triangle metronome symbol right here to turn on the metronome. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to time stretch and bend the transients just for this first portion here right up to uh, the fourth end of the fourth uh, fourth bar. And then you'll get an understanding of how I sampled the rest of it as well. So, you know, with a lot of older samples where the instrumentalist is playing uh, him, him or herself, there's a lot of room for human error. And that might, you know, throw off some of the notes uh, which aren't exactly on beat, which might interfere with your drum loops, etc. So what I like doing a lot of the time is taking each of these transients right here, as you can tell, this one, this one this one, this one, this one, etc. and lining them up to uh, the rhythm or to the tempo. And, uh, you know, uh, if you don't already know, you can snap your um, cursor to the grid just by clicking uh, N on your keyboard or pressing N on your keyboard or clicking this button up here. And this allows you to 
snap your cursor to the grip. So we know that the first two bars end right here, and this is where uh, the third bar starts. So what I want to do is I want to make a little incision right here, cut this off, and the best thing now I can do is I can take this and I can shrink it, so time stretch it a bit, uh, just so this falls back. And then I can go into the individual transients and line them up even more to the tempo. So to time stretch this waveform, all you have to do is just drag your cursor to the edge of the waveform, uh, hold down the Alt key, which converts your cursor into a time stretch tool, and then you just click and drag, and you can do whatever you want to it, and time stretch it up and back, up and back, up and back, etc. So what we want to do is if you hit N and snap to grid, hold down on the time stretch tool and snap this into place. So let's listen to that with the metronome on. Perfect. So now we already have the first bar on tempo. Alright, so now once we've done that, what we can do is go up to the top toolbar here and click the bend tool. Right? or you can press 7 on your keyboard for the shortcut. This bend tool, it allows you to go into whichever portion of the waveform you want, whether it be the beginning of a transient, etc., and move it around. Let me explain uh, by showing you what that means. So now in order to be able to edit those transients and to edit that waveform using the bend tool, all you have to do is go up here and click on the show bend marker. Your waveform should look like this. Now while you have your bend tool selected it's as easy as making incisions on your waveform wherever that may be and time stretching it right oh that's something wacky but let me show you exactly what that does. So let me just mess it up so you can see what's going on. Right? So you can do anything you want here. You can play around with it. You can get really creative with your samples using this tool. This is one of the amazing key features that I really like uh, about Studio One, the simplicity in the workflow becomes um, so second nature to you uh, while you're using this digital audio workstation that you know you're more focused on the art as opposed to okay now I gotta take this and I gotta cut it, I gotta use this tool, everything is very fluid. Now, if I make these incisions, say right here, 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 and here, and then I'll click on N, which is snap to grid. Now, if I take these, I can snap it to wherever I want to make sure that it's on beat. beat and then once I've done that once I've taken a listen to uh, how it sounds then you'll get something like this So there you go. That's how you edit a sample. It's as simple as that. That's generally what I do when I'm sampling for a beat. Um, there's variations if I want to do pitch correction on it. Sorry, not pitch correction. If I want to pitch shift it, um, you know, make the sample into a different key, either lowering it or uh, incre or making it higher. Uh, that's another thing you can do. Um, there's great tools to do that. One example is the Waves Sound Shifter Pitch, which is great. Let me show you how that works really quickly. Sample. It's right here. Just load on your Sound Shifter. And then you can just bring up the semitones or bring down to change the key of the sample.
so the main focus for this video was to give you a little more insight on the tools that I used to sample. Now on top of the sample, what I also did was I threw on an 808 bass line, uh, I threw on drums and you know a few transitions and then I worked with the pitch of the ch uh, drum or the bass drum as well. A lot of this uh, in terms of building layers for a beat was covered under my first video. I'll leave the link in the bottom in the description so you can go and take a look at that. It goes over how to produce a rap or a hip hop or an urban uh, beat using Studio One. And I go through one of my other uh, projects that I was working on previously and show you how I go through that uh, step by step in order to produce that beat. But I'm pretty happy with what we have so far. And uh, so most of the time I'll leave uh, the completion to this extent for uh, a beat. And then uh, once the production is placed or I have an artist that wants to songwrite to it, I'll let that process take over and then uh, we'll work with catering the rest of the production to the vocals or to the song that's being written onto it. And, you know, other than just chopping up the samples, there's uh, obviously a lot more to it. You know, getting the right drum line to it, getting the right bass line to it, adding uh, variations of other instruments on top of the sample. So if you have any questions about this video or anything that I went over that was a little unclear, uh, leave a comment in the section below and I'll get to you as soon as I can. So I hope this concise lecture gave you an understanding of uh, the wide array of uh, different tools that are at your disposal through Studio One and uh, how you can utilize them uh, when you're sampling for beats. Uh, if you have any topics in mind that you would like me to cover, uh, again, leave your comments in the section below. That's all for today. Take care. Giving up is hard.